There you go. What's up my friends, welcome back. First of all, I am very excited but also a little bit nervous at the same time because I want to make a new type of videos and I'm pretty sure that you will like it so please, please give me a chance to explain and also stay till the end of the video because I'm pretty sure that you would like it. I want to do a weekly update for this channel. So let's first go with the intro and then I will explain what we'll see in this video and why I want to make this kind of video in order for me to get more in touch with you, with the viewers. So let's play the intro and let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. So as you can see, I'm now growing my beard a little bit longer. I hope that you like it. Anyway, the reason that I'm a little bit nervous with these videos is that this will be a little bit more personal and also unscripted. So as you know, English is not my main language, so I hope that I will do it right. Anyway guys, before I explain you the reason for these videos, let me just first explain you what you will see in these videos. And please listen to me till the end, because I'm pretty sure that you will like this, because with these videos you will learn more, you will know more about me and also we will get more in touch, you the viewer and I the creator. So first of all, this will be a weekly update. I'm not sure about the name yet. Maybe the name will be weekly update, maybe weekly blog. I'm not sure. And if you have any idea about the name, just comment below and make a suggestion. I don't know. Maybe it will be weekly update. I think it's a good name. So here you will see more stuff, more stuff about me, but also while I'm recording my projects, I'll just stop, get the camera and make a weekly update about the project that I'm working on, the projects that I will work in the future, about problems that I have so you can give me tips, I can give you tips so we can help each other, so you will see a tour of my workshop, the tools that I use, and in each video I want to make a theory part, a project that I'm working on, and then something like a Q&A. The main idea is for you to comment below, so in this video I'll get the comments from this video and I'll answer those in the video from the next week. So in this way I can get more in contact with you guys, with the viewers. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to answer all the questions, so maybe I will select two or three that are more interesting and answer those in the video from the next week. So I want to make these videos every week, maybe every Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm not sure about the day yet. So guys, to summarize everything in these videos, you will see first the project that I'm working on in that week. So you will see the behind the camera, what I have on my workshop table and so on, the tools that I use. The second part will be a workshop tour, so I will show you something inside of my workshop maybe the oscilloscope, maybe the tools that I use, maybe something that I have here, I'm not sure yet. And the third part will be the Q&A, so the comments that you leave below in this week, I'll try to answer those in the next week, and so on. And the fourth part will be something related to theory, so I'll try to explain anything new about electronics in each video. Maybe some formulas, maybe some calculations, I don't know, maybe some electromagnetic laws, I'm not sure yet, but anything about electronics for you to learn even more. So in this way you will get more in contact with me and I will get to know you even better. So guys, in this way I hope that you will like these videos because you will get to know me better, get to know more stuff about Electronoobs, more about electronics, the projects that I'm working on, the behind the scenes, tour of my workshop and so on. And I'm not sure but maybe in the future even more topics. So now please listen till the end because now I'll explain why I want to make these kind of videos and this weekly update. Okay guys, so this will be the boring part of the video, but please listen to me till the end because I'm pretty sure that you will agree with me. And also maybe we'll make a small workshop tour and show you some stuff here in the workshop. Anyway, but it goes like this. Lately I've been looking on my analytics of my YouTube channel, my website, my Instagram, and it seems that my views went all the way down. I'm not sure about the reason because nobody knows the algorithm behind YouTube, but I get in contact with some people that know about this stuff with other YouTubers and also some people related with social media. And what they told me is that there is a difference between a normal follower and an engaged fan. So that's what I'm trying to do with this video, get more engaged fan. And the difference is something like this. A follower is that person that maybe will follow you on Instagram and some time to time, maybe once a month, will give you a like and that's it. But an engaged fan are those who will comment in your videos, maybe even argue with you, even dislike or like your video, and the best thing that they could do, they maybe even share your videos, which is the best thing that you could do for me in order to help me. So that is an engaged fan. Even more, maybe they will click your profile and see other content that, other content that you have, other videos, other projects. So you see guys, the problem right now is that, for example, on my English channel, I have around 240,000 subscribers. But even so, my videos lately won't even pass for 7 or 8 thousand views, which is very, very low. That is around 1% of my viewers, my, my subscribers. 
and not even that, but those 7,000 views are not even coming all from my subscribers. So I have to make something to fix this uh, problem. So that's why I'm making these videos. Because I want to get more engaged fans, so get more in contact with you guys, with the viewers. Maybe you can comment of what content do you want. Maybe you could comment about a problem, about a project, so I will help you. Maybe you just want to see my workshop, the tools that I use, or the ongoing project. So using these videos, which I will try to post every week, I hope that I will be able to do just that. Get more engaged fans and get, get more comments from you guys and more activity on my channel, on my website and so on. Because having this amount of subscribers but so few views on my, uh, on my videos doesn't motivate me at all. Because the most important part for me is for you to see my videos. Of course I care if you do like my projects, but if you don't like it just give it a dislike or maybe comment below so at least you will be able to say your opinion but at least you will be able to see my videos and that's the problem now with YouTube because a lot of you guys, even if you are subscribed to my channel, you don't even see my video for you to get your opinion to say if you like it or not. At least you will click that video and get your opinion. At least you will be able to say that if you like it or not. But if you don't even see the video, you don't have that chance. You don't have the chance to get your comment or say if you like or not the video. So that's why I'm doing this right now, guys. I hope that this will be able to get me more related fans and you engage more with my, with my content and at the same time learn something new because I will try to explain something new in every video. So guys, let's just make a small tour of the workshop. Thank you very much for understanding me and I hope that you will like this kind of videos and I'll try to post this every week. Okay guys, I'll try to show you where I work. I hope that we don't have a lot of echo. Right now I'm using these sponges on the walls because this room has a lot of echo. So usually I work right here on this table. I can move it front and back in order for me to record, usually I record here and then I will stay behind, I will stay on that, uh, on that chair. And we also have that background uh, behind me, which by the way is real. All those are real PCBs that I get during my entire life and uh, glue on the wood panel. So pretty much this is where I work. Usually my workshop is all a mess. As you can see, I have everything on the table and here. But anyway, once a week I clean my workshop in order to record the next video. And as you can see, on the side of my table, I have some spaces for my tools, my components and my modules. And this is the part that you don't usually see because this is behind the camera. Right here, I have all my boxes with components, where I have my, where I have my resistors, capacitors, MOSFETs, the small ICs and so on. And right behind my table, now I will show you, I have the capacitors. So that below is another part of the workshop that you don't usually see. This is where I have all the capacitors and some more resistors and also my YouTube button, because I have it here, I want to screw that on the wall, but I'm not pretty sure uh, where to place it. And by the way, I want to show you something on top of me while I'm recording, so this is my background, and now I'll make a spin. So right on top of me while I'm recording, I have some power tools, and also this support here where I'll place some more tools, I have the displays there, and a box full of modules and sensors that I usually use for my project, so I want to keep this very close to me. And of course, on this corner, I have a 3D printer, which right now I'm not using that much because I have another one in the other room, which is a Creality, which is my main printer. And also I have a whiteboard if I have to explain something to you, some theory part, a formula and, st and stuff like that. And for the tools that I use every day, right now my main solar iron is this TS80. Actually, this is the TS80P, which is the new version. I have my oscilloscope here, which is a key set oscilloscope from the 1000 series. This is my multimeter, this is a very cheap multimeter, this is the Unity, I bought this from, for around $20. And I also have my laptop, because there I have all the scripts and all the codes for the, for the Arduino. Because usually I record my stuff, my voice and the scripts on my main PC, which is a huge PC. And when I work here, I use the laptop, which is very old and very, very slow. But it's enough for what I'm doing here in the workshop. And finally, as you can see, all around I have these sponges, these black uh, sponges that are made for reducing the echo, but even so, as you can see, in this room we have a lot of echo. Because I, I have one here, I have another one here, another one here, and another one here. And I will have to place even more because the echo in this room is terrible. And by the light I use some LEDs, I have uh, four of them, one in each corner and one in the middle. And with that is the, I make the light for the for when I'm recording the project. And by the way, it's like 40 degrees in here because I don't have air conditioning. And when I record, I have to close the window and the door because otherwise you will hear all the noise from outside because this is the middle of Barcelona and we have a lot of traffic. Oh, and the last part, this is something that you always ask me what I use to record. Right now I'm using a Lavier microphone, but usually I have a studio microphone. 
for better sound. And for the video, this is a camera that I'm using right now. This is the M50, a Canon camera. And I also have this uh, D700 with a Sigma lens that I'm using for recording my, uh, my project. This is also a Canon camera. And I use this with a wire because in, th in that way I don't have to charge the batteries uh, each time. So that's it. I hope that you like this video. In the next week, we'll see a project, the project that I'm working on right now on this moment, and also the Q&A for the comments that you will leave below. So please guys, leave your comments below and I'll try to answer those in the video for the next week. And in that video, we'll also have the theory part, another workshop tour where I'll sh show you some tools that I use, some electronics, the project that I'm working on right now, and maybe more stuff. So guys, thank you very much. I hope that you understand me and I hope that you will get more in touch with my channel. And by the way, I always tell you this, I receive a lot of messages on Instagram, Facebook, my mail, and I can't really answer all, all of those because I don't have time. But I've, what I've made for you guys is an entire community. We have a forum. So all you have to do is to go on the forum, place your question. So what I will do, I will check this forum every day and try to answer your question if I know the answer. And if not, maybe other uh, people from the community will be able to answer your question. So please go to electrons.io slash forum and use that. And if you have a project for yourself, just go to electrons.io and you can post your project with a picture, with a title, with a description, with a gallery, with the codes, with all the uh, type of files. So give it a try. In that way, other people will be able to see your project. I'll try to also make some, uh, make some live streams on my Instagram account and maybe on YouTube. I'm not sure yet because I'm a little bit nervous talking in, uh, in English. But anyway, guys, I hope that with this video you'll get to know me even better. Thank you very much and see you in the next uh, weekly update. Keep up, you guys.